Well, as I indicated last night, it, there's, it's pretty clear that there are not 50 Republicans at the moment to vote for a replacement for Obamacare. Uh, consequently, sometime in the near future, we'll have a vote on repealing Obamacare, essentially the same vote that we had in 2015. I would remind everyone that in that proposal, there's a two-year delay, a two-year delay which would give us the opportunity uh, to work out a complete replacement on a bipartisan basis with our Democratic friends. So that's a vote I think we're very likely to have in the very near future. We got a sense of what the future might look like if we are unsuccessful in repealing and replacing Obamacare. We saw for the second time in a few days Democratic senators coming to the floor asking for tens of billions of dollars in tax dollars for insurance company bailouts. No reform, no change in the status quo. And after seven years, I think we can safely conclude that the structure of Obamacare is a failed experiment. That's why we want to change the structure of the health care delivery system as we stabilize markets, protect people from premium increases and pre-existing condition exclusions. We're going to continue down that road because the alternative, I fear, is going to be a democratic effort strictly to bail out insurance companies with no reform whatsoever. After seven years of Obamacare, the American public knows what they have. They have fewer choices. They have higher premiums and less control over their own health care. Uh, a number of years ago, I voted to do a repeal of the Obama health care law. I am ready to make that re complete repeal vote again. But, of course, that's not enough. The people of Wyoming want more than that. They want to be able to buy the insurance that they want that works right for them, not what the federal government, Washington, D.C., says they have to buy. So I'm ready to vote to repeal. But we need a medical system not just as good as it was before Obamacare was passed, but we need a medical system and a health care system in this country even better than that. I think the only thing I could add to this discussion is at some point we need to figure out, find out where the votes are. There, this is important work to be done. It affects families. It affects health care. We need to find out where the votes are. But there's other, there are other things we need to do, too. The President this week is talking about manufacturing made in America. Uh, if you could pay the utility bill, if the transportation system works, those are the two boxes you check when you start talking about jobs. We all know the best place to get insurance is still at work, where somebody else does the negotiation, somebody else reads the policy. Ways that more people could get insurance at work is important. Uh, tax structure is important. This, is, this has had a considerable amount of time spent on it. And sooner rather than later, we need to find out where the Senate is and move forward. There are a lot of people out there today who seem to be spiking the football. Uh, trying to celebrate a moment uh, that, for now, uh, seems to leave the Affordable Care Act in place for today. But let me tell you what happens uh, if you continue to spike the football. In the state of Colorado last week, it was announced that the average premium rate increase for the next year will be 27 percent. But that's if you're lucky enough to live in the front range of Colorado. If you live in the eastern plains, the western slope, you're going to pay 30 percent more. You're going to pay 40 percent more. That's spiking the football on the American people who will continue to pay more under the Affordable Care Act that is collapsing. We will continue our work to get our job done to make sure that the status quo no longer stands and instead we provide relief to the American people. Yeah. You went through two iterations of your bill. We heard from some of your members. They, they were very critical of the process. Some were critical of you. Senator Johnson was specifically critical, said there was a breach of trust. Do you feel that, that you and your leadership have been damaged in this process and that now you can actually usher this across considering those criticisms of you that you've heard? Well, you know, this has been a very, very challenging uh, experience for all of us. It's pretty obvious that we don't have uh, 50 members who can agree on a replacement. A lot of people have been involved in the discussion, been very passionate discussions, uh, but everybody's given it their best shot. And as of today, we just simply do not have 50 senators who can agree on what ought to replace uh, the existing law. 
What we do have is a vote that many of us made uh, two years ago at a time when the President of the United States would not sign the legislation that would repeal Obamacare and with a two-year delay give us an opportunity to build something better on a bipartisan basis. That's what I sense most of our members would like to vote on now and um, we'll be doing that in the near future. But it seems like some of them have been Nancy? currently to have the votes for that repeal plan. So if that vote fails, do you then begin working with Democrats? Well, I think we'll have to see what happens. We will have demonstrated that Republicans by themselves uh, are not prepared at this particular point to do a replacement. And that doesn't mean the problems all go away. And uh, you'll have to look at our committee chairman and their ranking members. Uh, my suspicion is there'll be hearings about the crisis that we have, and we'll have to see what the way forward is. How are we going to explain this to voters next year if we don't do what the campaign does? Well, we have a new Supreme Court justice. We have 14 uh, repeals of regulations. And we're only six months into it. Last time I looked, Congress goes on for two years. We'll be moving on to comprehensive tax reform and to infrastructure. There's much work left to be done for the American people, and we're ready to tackle it. Thanks. Thanks.